Hi, it's Phil Badura here from Action Coach Business Steps uh, coming to you live in 2022. So the first thing I'd like to do is to welcome you to 2022 and I trust that you've had a great Christmas break and an even better New Year. In terms of what we're going to cover today, we're going to look at stage two of developing culture in your business. And culture is a really, really important thing that you need to be focusing on. So today, stage two is about the seven keys to a winning team. And a good team is a nice thing to have. However, complacency in business leads to missed opportunities. To succeed in business, you do need to have a great team. When you have a team that is just as passionate about your business as you are, then synergy starts to kick in and you'll achieve remarkable results. Internal politics can actually tear a business apart. Unhappy and unmotivated staff are the fastest way to destroying any business. When you apply the principles of the seven keys to a winning team in your workplace, the team will begin to work together like an efficient, motivated, well-oiled machine. The first key to a winning team is strong leadership. As the business owner or unit manager, you must show strong leadership. As the leader, you must have passion, focus, and take responsibility for the leadership of your organization or your role within the organization. Your team will be looking up to you to provide the strategies and direction for the business or the department. Without passion, focus and responsibility, you will not be able to engage the team or achieve the traits that championship teams exhibit. The second key to a winning team is about common goals. Defining what the common goals are for the business. Are you clear about where you are going and how you're going to get there? Have you set long-term goals for the business and are they aligned with clear vision, mission and purpose statements that every team member can be truly engaged with? Is the vision, mission and purpose of the business aligned with each team member's own personal beliefs and values? The third key is about the rules of the game. When we think about sport and the rules of the game, on the playing field, the team understands and knows what each individual is responsible for in winning the game. Each team member is empowered to make their own decisions in how they play the game whilst the ball is in play. They also understand that when the ball goes outside the boundary or someone breaks a rule on the field, that, there are no, that they are no longer in control of making their own decisions and look to the umpire for making the final decision. It's no different than the, when you're playing the game of business and each team member understands what their role and responsibilities are by playing by the rules of the game. When you've clearly articulated the rules of the game in business through your policies and procedures, your communication, strong leadership, common goals, you will have a tight culture where everybody plays by the rules and in the context of winning that game of business. The fourth key is the action plans. Having well-defined action plans are more about more than just what needs to be done by when. 
In addition to operational milestones and key performance indicators, they contain positional contracts, systems manuals, plans of action, and much, much more. My challenge for you is to take some time to review your own action plans that take place in your business every day and then look for ways that you can improve how your action plan can be adapted or modified to, to improve your efficiencies, productivity, results and outcomes. Using the football analogy from earlier, the coach and his key staff are always looking at the game, reviewing and refining the action plan during the game that will achieve a winning result for the team. Apply the same principles in your business. The fifth area in the seven keys to a winning team is supporting risk taking. Companies that have gone from good to great will have adopted the Japanese principle of Kaizen. In today's language, that means continuous improvement. Be comfortable that change is good and supporting risk taking can propel your company forward through a uniqueness that sets you apart from your competition. Every business has experienced a product, employee or service failure. It comes with the territory. One of the best ways to feed your company culture and to grow is to openly address your failures and be open to discussion and feedback from your team. Team members who are engaged put energy and excitement into the work that they create. If you want to build a strong company culture and maintain or hire a team who is loyal to their work, you must engage with all of them. And this is done through the sixth key to a winning team, which is 100% involvement and inclusion. And the seventh key is appreciate, know and appreciate your people. Get to know what makes them tick, what motivates them, what demotivates them, and that is going to be a key way for developing your winning team. Culture is a collective concept and it's produced by groups of people. What your company creates together and how it performs together is at the heart of that culture and not merely in the hands of the leaders. The most successful companies understand the importance of input from all of their employees and it is through all the steps we have mentioned in the seven keys to a winning team that will help you engage with, first of all, transparency, then nurturing, motivation, communication, and then celebrating each of those milestones. If your employees don't understand the what and the why they come to work every day, through the business vision, the common goals, the rules of the game, their role in the action plan, then they'll be very limited, limited in how they can contribute to the overall success in winning the game of business. The seven keys to a winning team is a great tool for developing better culture in your business. If you'd like to have a copy of this document, please message me and uh, I will forward that to you. So until next time, make sure that you're focusing on developing a better culture in your team. And, and in our next live video, we'll be looking at the third stage, which is disk profiling and training. Until then, have a great day. Bye now.